Understanding Boost Leak The term, leak, is frequently used in the context of the automotive industry to describe a liquid that escapes from its intended location. We are accustomed to hearing a lot about coolant, brake fluid, and oil leaks. But gases also play a significant role in the equation. That said, you'll get to know what a boost leak is, its causes, its symptoms, how to test it, and how much it will cost you to fix it. What is boost leak? Simply explained, a boost leak is when all measured air passing the mass airflow sensor, MAF, in a turbocharged or supercharged, or both, vehicle doesn't make it to the combustion chamber. There is a leak in the system somewhere, mainly between the turbo and intake manifold. The occurrence of intake air leaks in non-forced induction automobiles is less common. What causes it? The causes are usually straightforward, but diagnosing them can be difficult. The boosted air has the potential to leak out through a loose clamp or coupler, fractured intake pipe, torn boot, shoddy vacuum connection, damaged air-to-air -air intercooler, and other issues. The first step in identifying the offending component is carefully inspecting every component between the MAF and throttle body, which, depending on how your car's engine bay is set up, may take some time. What are the symptoms of a boost leak? The following are the most common symptoms of this leak. Check engine light on. The boost pressure sensor is one of many engine sensors that the check engine light keeps an eye on. The check engine light will come on if there is anything wrong with the turbo boost pressure, such as when there is a boost leak. Use an OBD2 scanner to check the issue codes if you notice a check engine light on your dashboard. Slow turbo spool. The horsepower and performance of a vehicle are increased by the turbo by expanding the volume of fuel and air that can fit inside a cylinder. The turbo's turbine needs to spin quickly before the turbo kicks in, though. The turbo does not contribute to the car's acceleration up until that point. This problem, which is sometimes referred to as turbo lag, occurs when the turbo spools up fuel and air to feed into the cylinder. Terrible idle. This is only valid if your automobile has a mass airflow sensor, sometimes known as a MAF. The amount of air leaving the turbo and entering the engine is detected by the MAF. The leak can cause it to shut down and stall. Although it can happen if the leak is significant, having a bad idle due to a boost pipe leak is not particularly typical. Black smoke coming from the exhaust. The air entering the engine is measured by the MAF sensor. There will be measurable air loss if there is a leak in the pipes connecting the MAF sensor to the engine. This will result in an incorrect and, most often, rich air-fuel combination. Black smoke will emerge from the exhaust pipe if the mixture is too rich. Inefficient fuel use. The fuel consumption of the boost leak and the MAF sensor readings are both affected in the same way. This might not be very obvious, but if you monitor your car's typical fuel use, you can quickly spot a boost leak. In such cases, a boost leak test may be beneficial. Power loss. The turbo creates pressure in the boost pipes as you accelerate to increase the car's performance. These pipes will take longer to fill with pressure and the pressure will be lower than usual if there is a boost leak. Your car's engine will suffer a severe loss of power as a result. If the leak is severe, you can potentially lose all turbo pressure. How to test boost leak? Check all couplers and clamps visually. This is the most typical cause of boost leaks, and it typically occurs after making changes that call for removing the charge pipe, such as bolt-ons. Work your way up to the intercooler and then toward the Throttle body starting at the compressor housing. Examine all vacuum lines visually. Another place that frequently goes unnoticed until a boost leak is found is this one. Important vacuum lines must be removed and relocated in order to install certain devices and aftermarket bolt-ons. These vacuum lines will almost certainly result in annoyance boost leaks if left unplugged. These are the first locations you should look for if you have an aftermarket boost gauge boost controller, or wideband installed and are experiencing boost leak symptoms. Start by inspecting the vacuum line that connects to the wastegate controller at the compressor housing. Test the system using a boost leak tester. If you suspect a boost leak, a boost leak tester is a fantastic little tool to use. Without having to start the car or get it up to load, you may pressurize the system with a boost leak tester. Simply disconnect the boost leak tester from the air compressor, attach the tester to the turbo intake, and allow the system to pressurize. How much does it cost to fix a boost leak? The cost of fixing boost leaks varies. The cost of replacing some parts of the system is higher than that of replacing others. If this video was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel.